Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Laura Wilkie with Down Home with Lemon Pie, and today I'm gonna to tell you about all of the books that we are using in our studies on Africa. Welcome back. Um, I'm Laura with Down Home with Lemon Pie. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe, um, share our videos, like our um, all of our videos, and just um, help others to know if this is something that you are finding helpful. I'm a Christian stay-at-home homeschool mom of six, and uh, my oldest two girls are 10 and 8. My boys are 6 and 5, and then I have twins that are 2 years old. And we are currently this year doing My Father's World, Exploring Countries and Cultures. Um, real quick before I get started, uh, I want to share with you about my new curriculum. I just released it and you can find a link in the comments below this um, video where you can find all the information. I have a video also on our channel where you can see inside of it that it is a character-based curriculum that focuses on historical heroes and gives our children those heroes that you just can't find these days and um, gives them ties them in with some nature studies and also gives you games activities and picture books that you can do at home and it also has all of the um, workbook stuff that you can get to go with it for your kids so if this sounds like something that you might be interested in uh, look below I have a link to this uh, to the video where you can see like an inside flip through of that and follow me on Instagram and Facebook to see other photos for that okay guys so let's get started this is actually our second week that we are studying Africa and I wanted to share with you the books that we are learning and using in our homeschool. Um, the, let's see, the first one we did was a read aloud. We already finished it and is Akimbo and the Lions and the kids loved this. There is a whole series of these and I am seriously um, debating getting the whole series for the kids or at least several more because they loved it. It is so cute. It's about a little boy in Africa and his dad and him go out to find this lion that is kind of terrorizing this other villager. And um, they go to find it, they get a cub, they end up kind of adopting and raising the cub and then setting him free at the end. It is so sweet and so cute. And my kids really, really enjoyed it, but it's also a perfect book for your children who are just starting chapter books because it's super simple for them to read. So even my little four year, or he's five now, my little five year old was able to um, get into the story. So it's so cute, look at that. It's so cute. Okay, so um, I read this one back in the summer and I wanted to recommend it even though I'm not reading it to my kids right now. It is A Long Walk to Water and it is a chapter book. It's not very long, it's perfect for your teenagers, but it is just about um, kind of the, there's two stories actually in this book. So they are tied together like that. So you've got different font color and different fonts to, to separate them. But it's so fascinating and interesting. It is a little intense. That's why I'm going to say it's better for your bigger kids, like your teenagers. But it is so good. And it's just about um, how they don't have water and their journey to get it. And there's two stories. So I don't really want to give it away but it is definitely one I would recommend you read. And even for adults, I found it super great. Okay, the last chapter book I have is this one. I What we did in our homeschool was I read this for myself, for my own personal knowledge. And then with my bigger girls, we watched the movie. So the movie is um, a little bit less intense, like the dog dies in this. And I was a little bit concerned how the girls were gonna take that because the way that it's described in the book is a little bit more intense than that I was really ready for them but um, it was okay in the movie. But the movie did have some intense parts, but it helped so much that I had already read it, so I was able to explain it as we went, and I think they both really, really enjoyed it. Um, anyways, it's about a boy, and they are experiencing droughts in Africa. It's a true story, which are my one of my favorites, and they're experiencing droughts in Africa, and his family can't afford for him to go to school, so he ends up just kind of learning on his own, ends up heading over to the junkyard, uses all kinds of things that he finds to build um, a windmill so that they can have wind electricity to water their uh, crops so that their crops can grow and they won't have the drought anymore. So it is so, so good. The book is way better though, I will say. So if you've already seen the movie, definitely recommend the book. And right now you can find this on um, Book Outlet, which I will link below because that is where I got my coffee and you can see that it is 
perfect. And I think I paid, I want to say like $3 for this guys. So huge savings over at book outlet. If you are looking for this or any other books. So there you go. Okay. The rest of these are all picture books. And the first one I'm going to show you actually ties in with this one here. And this one is the picture book kind of version of Naya's long walk. And it is the one of the stories that you have in this book, but it's the picture book version. So this is the one I'm going to read to my kids that are littler. Um, basically, you've got the girls and they are traveling each day their journey to go get water. Um, that's kind of a common theme with uh, several of our books for Africa because that's something that is real life where they live. So that is something we actually purchased this one back in the summer because I think that this kind of book is going to help the kids really have that heart for others. So, and I want them to have that world, worldly spirit. So, um, there is Naya's Long Walk, and then this one is The Water Princess, kind of a similar idea. This one I just snagged from the library, but I did see, I think this one is on Book Outlet 2 right now. Um, but anyway, The Water Princess, same idea about her journey. It is a true story, but her journey each day to get water and how challenging that is in their lives. Okay. The next book I have is, I don't know if it's Idris, I, Idris, I'm not sure the pronunciation and his marble. I got this from the library. Basically, this is talking about war that breaks out. And the only thing that he grabs as they are fleeing the city is this marble. And it's just about his, um, love for his marble really in the midst of a war it's not done in a terribly frightening manner because it is like i said a picture book but i still think it's going to be a great story for us to have in our homeschool um as we are studying africa okay this one's just kind of for fun dr DeSoto goes to africa just kind of a fun storybook for my littlest um i think that they'll enjoy that um okay so let me see. Okay, so the next one I got is Quill Soup. This is a story just like the traditional stone soup, but with like an African twist. So I'm excited to introduce this. We love stone soup in our home. We always do a big unit on it, kind of usually around Thanksgiving and do the whole thing where we, you know, try to make the soup from whatever we have around the house. We do the whole thing. So it's fun, but this will be a fun twist. Quill soup, like a porcupine quill. Okay, this one I actually got years ago at um, Dollar Tree of all places. And we just kept it in our, in our collection. And so I'm bringing it out this year with our Africa studies. And it is one hen. How one small loan made a big difference. It's basically about this little boy. And he sells eggs. They, they're really poor. He sells eggs. He gets a chicken. He sells the eggs and earns money so that he can do greater things. So it's just kind of one of those stories from rags to riches, basically. So there's that. I have another one that's similar to that, and it is Beatrice's goat. This one, same kind of feel. So I'm excited for those. I love those kind of true to life motivational stories. So that's perfect for us. Okay, Gallimoto. Um, fun story for this one, you know, the little book um, mailboxes, you can go like get books, put books back and, you know, like in neighborhoods, happened to come across this one. I had wanted this one, but I hadn't purchased it for some reason for years. And it was there and I grabbed it probably a week before we started our Africa unit. So I was so excited. It almost came at the exact perfect time, of course. So I figured God just wanted us to have it. But basically this little boy um, collects wires and creates what he calls is a Gallimoto. It's basically a truck and um, it like a toy and just makes his own stuff. Okay, so I love this because it teaches our kids to create and to be inventive and to not let, you know, I don't have that hold you back. So that's why I'm excited about this one. Okay, this is a great one too. We did this when we were do, working on with American Heritage Girls, our missionary badge. We purchased this one when Africa was home. And I think it's about a missionary. It's not really clear in the story, but basically this little boy, he's an American boy. And uh, it's just about his life in, Amer in Africa when he grows up there and then they have to come back, like they come back on leave. And 
they're back home in America for a while and it talks about how much he misses Africa and then they get to return. So that's basically the whole story um, just about him living in Africa as a white American boy. So there you go. Okay, the next one I have is Goal. Um, kind of just about boys playing soccer in Africa. Um, I actually haven't read through this one completely yet, but I've read through the bag and kind of flipped through it, but I haven't read through word for word. So I can't give you too many tips on this, but um, just about boys' lives in Africa and playing soccer. I do know that in um, Africa, they love to play soccer. So this will be a fun kind of addition. This story, I, actually, I had to buy this one because this one, I actually got it on thrift books. I'll kind of plug that too. Um, thrift books, if you haven't used them yet, I find so many great deals there. Um, usually for less than $5, I find all the books and there's, it's in great condition. So this was probably listed in very good condition and it is very good condition. So anyways, I had to get this guys. It is such a sweet story about appreciating what you have. And sometimes, especially here in America, we don't realize uh, how blessed we are. And that's what this story is about. The Marvelous Mud House. And it is just, it, it's just kind of a story about how in America, maybe we can get spoiled by the things that we have, but in Africa, they don't have all of that. And they are so thankful for the things that they do have. Um, I also love that this book, uh, outwardly references God several times. So that is a huge plus as well. Okay, guys, the next book I have is kind of a classic, and it is Mufara's Beautiful Daughters. It's an African tale. This is more like a um, like a fiction fun story. So this is, we're going to add this one. It is a Newbery Award winner. Um, I lost my tooth in Africa. This is kind of perfect because I have several kids that are all still losing teeth right now. So this is a fun addition for them to kind of relate to as they're losing teeth, what it would be like if they had lost their tooth while living in Africa or visiting Africa. So there's that. All right, Emmanuel's Dream. This one is also from the library. The true story of um, Emmanuel Ofosu Yeboa. Uh, he's a boy who has a disability. He only has one leg and he doesn't let it hold him back. So this covers so many um, great topics with perseverance and um, cultures and um, seeing each other and others differences and th just all of the things. So I'm excited about this to add that one. The next one we're going to be reading is Mimi's Village, How Basic Healthcare Transformed It. Um, basically she helped the families in Africa to have a better life with, um, with healthcare, they didn't have that kind of stuff. There's a whole series you can see here by Citizen Kid that you can get to go with them. And honestly, I think I need them all. But we do also have Ryan and Jimmy. I don't have it here to show you, but we do have that one. We're reading it as like a read aloud. And of course you saw one hint. But these are all great books for um, just kind of how, how one person can make a big difference. We're really enjoying Ryan and Jimmy, which is this one right here. And um, about a boy who was in Canada and he uh, learned about people in Africa not having water, access to clean water, and he helped them. And he raised money and helped them, built a well, and met his new friend, Jimmy, in the process, who lives in Africa, and it benefited his family. All right, we're gonna add in Livingstone, a missionary to Africa. Um, this is kind of a picture book version. My daughter did read a chapter book, and she enjoyed that as well. So we're gonna add this in. I'm super excited. I am actually going to take these books and um, we're gonna do, I think, three weeks of Africa to cover all of these books. I'm super excited. So if you guys wanna watch how that's going, follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Otherwise, enjoy the choices that I have shared with you if you are also learning about Africa.